they're literally illiterate and uneducated when it comes to film. The most exciting aspect of a Sandeep Reddy Vanga release are his post box office success interviews. One clearly remembers the storm and controversy he created post Kabir Singh as his interaction with Anupama Chopra went viral for various reasons. It had glimpses of a director who had crazy conviction about his skill, it had problematic themes of his personal belief regarding what love is, and a foreshadowing of what his upcoming release is going to be like. I'll show them what violent film will be. The post animal success interviews have been nothing short of eventful stirring up their own controversies and drama that everyone anticipated i think the two standout interactions sandeep has had were with bhardwaj rangan in galata plus and faridun in connect fm canada i would recommend you check out the interactions on their respective channels as it does provide great insight into the individual and his thought process while one was more about exploring the craft and his intention behind most sequences in the film the other seemed to be a reply to the group of people sandeep has the most problem with critics and reviewers there are so many aspects of these interactions that have polarizing views because of not only the creator's temperament but the overarching theme of a creator defending his work i think sandeep has every right to defend his work if we as creators or as an audience can openly criticize or ridicule his film This dynamic reminds me of the case of the Premier League. Trade pundits sit every weekend, mostly comprising of ex-players on national TV, criticizing teams and managers for their results. Often times when these managers reply back to these trade pundits, they cry foul saying that the managers are getting butt hurt unnecessarily and that they shouldn't care about what the pundits are saying from the comfort of their studios. I feel the dynamic between Sandeep Reddy Vanga and the critics he despises is almost identical. He has delivered a box office blockbuster with animal and should be from a bird's eye point of view above whatever a small section of critics with influence think because despite them disliking his project there was unanimous love poured financially on the film sandeep is a professionally trained director who went to film school in australia and i think this has a lot to do with the validation he thinks he should receive from all sections of society the masses and the critics This is unlike Salman Khan who couldn't care less about what critics think. So is the case with a director like Rohit Shetty who feels the validation of the audience is enough to act as fuel to keep him going. But I think because of Sandeep's professional background in filmmaking, he does feel he is not dumbing down the art form and straight vitriol and anger he receives from a certain section of critics is unwarranted. I only feel that Sandeep has a point regarding two aspects. the reductive nature of movie reviews that ignore several technical aspects of film in their write-ups in terms of performances music cinematography and screenplay and formulate the entire focus of their review to the problematic themes of the film which are of course personal to them and two when there are influencers who write about the film just on the basis of the clips that they see on instagram reels and don't even watch the film i remember shobha day speaking about the film and she did not even see it she had a full psa for the public just on the basis of hearsay which i think is highly irresponsible they have no sense of uh, you know not to, to criticize a film or a review of a film they only see the sensitive part of it in this speak and then done do that I wholeheartedly disagree with the statement of Sandeep calling a certain section of critics illiterate just on the basis of what they wrote about his film but he has every right to have an opinion as do reviewers I think the reason why also Sandeep Reddy Vanga becomes an easy punching bag and it doesn't look graceful when he name calls critics is because he should honestly revel in the success of the film rather than be bothered with what a few critics have said while Sandeep does communicate to Bharadwaj Rangan that he doesn't care about the critics through his answers it becomes pretty clear he is visibly angry about the same this angle of how they dissect your film is gone from Ar- arjun to kuch nahi tha from kabir to now in this 4 years the meter has gone up somewhere like it's it's too toxic now let's talk about what interested me the most about the interactions with sandeep i am actually intrigued about the project title devil which sandeep had presumably pitched to mahesh babu a collaboration i would be really excited to see especially for how a creator like sandeep can push mahesh babu who seems restrictive with his choices currently 
I loved how in awe of Ranbir's performance Sandeep was, stating that he did something really special in Animal, glimpses of which he could only see in Rockstar and Sanju. You don't see my film scenes again and again. Like how people see and how people think like a oh, great scene. So like in the edit room one day I felt like from inside like what's happening with this guy's like life, you know? That very rarely happens. While exploring symbolism in his films, I think it was quite pedestrian to use the lift off from the plane to avoid the terrain as a commencement of the story. It's rather surface level as a defense to denote the movie is going in full gear now. However, what I loved about the interaction was that whoever in their write-ups about the film dismissed Sandeep as having glorified acts of violence and abuse, I loved that he confessed he wanted to strip away all forms of happiness in the end for Ranvijay. His father on the verge of death, his wife leaving him, he wanted him to be completely lost. Something that we have often discussed with anti-heroes and how it sets a problematic precedent when they get a happy ending. Great things are short-lived. You know, the, the church father says there's no redemption. The destructive force, that's a fact. In spite of doing so much, you didn't get anything. What I found the most interesting actually was how I wished for more interactions between the father and son, a more deep dive into their complex relationship. But Sandeep references a moment that brought so much clarity for me. The lack of warmth is something that Ranvijay is so used to. He is almost taken aback when his father reminds him that he thought of him when he got hit by the first bullet. So rather than transitioning to an embrace between a father and son, he could only point out his chest hair because he is not used to compliments or love from his father. The lack of eye contact further enunciating the dearth of love between them. The real projection of anger comes in the factory, but he is still awkward and in his shell with his father. I think another interesting and creative masterstroke was Sandeep's explanation of the villains wearing masks in the long-running interval block. It allows for them to prolong the sequence and it doesn't reach a point of exhaustion. Seeing the similar fighters that you see in every single commercial film, especially you don't get distracted by their expressions. It allows for more carnage to be acceptable for the viewers. I was so bummed out when I learned from the interaction that they had actually shot Bobby Deol's backstory of his grandfather burning himself and the impact that it had on him. I think it would have done wonders for the audience to be emotionally connected to the characters had these visuals been presented. While the defense of an awkward lover just saying anything random to defend the you have a big pelvis scene is slightly weak, I do understand why Ranbir hugged Rashmika as he requested her to be just in her bra. Only the sense of touch working for him as he is a physical mess, it's the only thing he could quote unquote feel. I wish Bhardwaj Rangan questioned him on the church scene and wanting to slap Rashmika and shaming her for changing pads because I think more than shock value, it reflected on personal thoughts of a creator that just ended up demeaning the female character more than anything else. Bhardwaj Rangan defended the film by saying that the movie works on such a high emotional and scale that he doesn't think they conform to the real world. And I think that's a huge cop-out for criticism regarding the social themes of a movie of Sandeep Reddy Vanga. The defense of Animal cannot be that it's secluded in its own world. Ranbir threatening Rashmika that she can never cheat on him and if someone came close to her, he would kill him was an obvious portrayal of ownership versus a portrayal of an equal relationship but the defense of it was almost absent in this discussion. Questions I would have loved to ask him because he confesses that Ranvijay does fall for Bhabi too. I think the lick my foot sequence was also for shock value and to demean the partner. The defense for it to be a flippant remark when you've fallen head over heels for a girl is also rather vague, making me think that I still stand by the fact that Bobby Deol was wasted as an antagonist, being introduced so late. The Tripti Dimri cheating sequence actually made the movie lose momentum and that the most solid portions of the film include Ranbir Kapoor's performance, the action set pieces and Sandeep's and Harshwardhan Rameshwar choices with music and score. See, Sandeep is a fascinating creative mind who pushes the envelope with his films. Socially, I think there needs to be an acknowledgement though that some of his themes are just uncomfortable for the sake of it versus lending to the storyline. But that's just my personal critique. I don't agree with the way Sandeep has gone after the critics individually because if I were him, I would just be dancing on Bobby Deol's entry song looking at the box office revenue my film has generated. But that's just me. Just like Kabir Singh, the cycle has continued where there has been a hit film, 
a post film interview and feathers have been ruffled and i don't think this cycle is going to end with spirit or animal park because sandeep himself said i'll but i'll be free while writing i i don't uh... think about how it is being criticized yeah, you will so, completely deviate from your originality and that was a video guys write down in the comments below what you thought about the sandeep reddy vanga interviews and where do you stand regarding critics and movie creators should there be an open line of communication between them and name calling please don't forget to follow me on instagram the handle is right in front of you follow me at jammy pants4 also please support us by smashing the like button and subscribing to our channel for weekly content ahead thank you for watching